So you've heard me talk a lot about original paint tractors. Uh, they're actually one of my favorite thing. Uh, I just like the warmth and the patina to an original paint tractor. And uh, we've got a neat example in the shop here today. Uh, this is actually one of my personal tractors. This is a, uh, an Alice Chalmers WD-45 diesel, which is uh, kind of a rare tractor. And I picked this tractor up uh, uh, oh, a little over a year ago, I believe. And this is all original paint and original decals on this tractor. Now, it's had a few touch-ups. Uh, you know, there's, there's, you, there's obviously been a little bit of touch-up here. But I saw enough originality with this tractor that I believe we can do what maybe what's called a restoration, what people call a restoration, where we can we can actually uh, clean this tractor up, uh, detail it, use some paint polish on it, uh, replace some of those parts uh, that have been repainted with some original parts, and really put this tractor back into an original state. If you look here, this is the original patina that we found the tractor in. Um, it's a little cloudy. Um, it's got a little uh, dust and dirt and, and some grease in on it. It's a cold winter day here today uh, in Illinois when we're filming this. So normally what we would do is we'd take the tractor out, give it a good soapy mild bath with a pressure washer, but it's cold outside today. So we've done something a little different. Uh, we've kind of had to hand clean this tractor. Uh, I'm going to have my buddy Doug Edwards from Edwards Restoration come in and uh, Doug, what'd you, what'd you do to this to, to kind of get it cleaned up and ready for, ready for paint polish? I went to the local Napa store uh -huh. and bought some aluminum stainless steel cleaner. Uh, for, oh, like they clean wheels with? Yes. Oh, okay. Yep. All right. And I brought it back and then I mixed it, uh, oh, about a 50, 50 mix with uh -huh. water. Uh -huh. And I wiped it all down with the, with the rag. Uh -huh and then wiped it off with a dry rag. That took a lot of the dinge. Kind of, the, of kind of that grimy, cloudy. Yes, the faded paint off of it. Right, right. And that got us to this stage right here. All right, so it's, it's ready for us to kind of perform the magic, right? Yes. Okay, so um, a lot of you have heard me talk about uh, a product called Flitz. Uh, on the show before, and what Flitz is is it's kind of a uh, kind of a paint restorer or paint polish. Um, so we've got uh, we've got a tub of Flitz here. Now, Doug, wh what are you going to do with this? Explain to us, you know, how you're going to do this. With an area this size, I'm going to use a power buffer. Okay. A lower RPM buffer, because you just want to work the product into the paint, let the product do the work. Well, hey man, I am super anxious to see how this turns out. So uh, I'm gonna let you get to work. Okay. Take and apply this flitz, put it on a, on a rag and just wipe some on. You use it pretty sparingly because the buffing pad's gonna spread it for you and work it all in. You don't wanna work too big an area at one time. I'm running this buffer around 1700 RPMs. If you run it any faster, it's just gonna sling it everywhere but you just want to work this product in. Keep your buffer flat, let it do the work. As you can tell already, this is the dead paint that it's lifting. As you can see, it's starting, the shine starting to show up. Once it starts to dry, as you can tell, then you can stop, wipe it off. Don't let it dry on you. And as you wipe it off, you can see if you need more buffing, because you don't want it, you don't want to go through the paint. And it is old paint, so it's only going to do so much. That's pretty nice shine. And you can feel the paint, it, it's slicked up. Of course, where your scratches was, you're still gonna feel them. But it's got a nice finish to it. All right, I'm gonna apply a little more here just around this lettering. Then you can take your buffer 
and get as close as you can. You don't want to use your buffer over your decals. We'll wipe it back off to see how we got, if we need any more. Now you can take your rag, apply a little bit. You have to do it by hand, not rubbing real hard. Rub in between your letters the best you can. It will brighten your decals up a little bit. But it evens it all out pretty good. And if you happen to have a spot where your paint's better, it's gonna shine more. And we have more decals. I think I'll go ahead and do around the decals by hand first. And if you see this seam right here, where these two panels come together, I do not have one with me right now, but a good item to use when you wipe all this off is if you have an old toothbrush. Toothbrush is good and soft and, and it gets in that crack and that'll help take that polish out that we've got in there. Kurt mentioned that he thought these was touch up spots and they very well may be but I think the flitz is gonna polish them out. So let's put a little more on there and let's see what it does. It did take this spot off. Everybody wonders how far this product to go. Um, I've been using it. I've done this much and all I done was used out of this lid from shaking it. And the can's still full. So it's, you can use it pretty sparingly. It goes a long ways. Now on your frame rail, it's all gonna look different. Because basically, you know, it's a, usually a rough texture like this one is. So your polish is going in your pits. So you're, I kind of call it, you're hitting the high spots. But it's still brought out a shine. So Doug and Flitz have worked their magic on this sheet metal and you can see how it's brought out that original color and actually actually brought out a shine uh, that this tractor probably hasn't had since the mid 50s. I think it even makes the scratches look good because it gives the tractor a little character. I'm going to walk around the tractor and we've, we've actually used a piece of uh, yellow painters tape across the middle of the hood to kind of divide off uh, half of the hood so we can see the before and the after. Okay, let's have uh, let's have the big reveal here and get a hold of this tape and kind of lightly pull it off of the hood. Wow, you can really, really see the difference. Uh, here's the line of the tape, and you can see how that color has come out here and uh, how dull and, and, and dingy it is on this side. So, so Doug's gonna finish the rest of this tractor and I'm gonna be super happy with the results if it's all gonna come out this good. You can shop for Flitz on the Classic Tractor Fever website, classictractorstv.com. Use the promo code FEVER to save 20%. And if you have a question or topic you'd like to hear more about on In The Shop, you can send us a message on the website as well. Again, that's ClassicTractorsTV.com.